Hey yo, it's the guy. I'm Space Gamer, and today I'm gonna be creating a three star system. Yep, that's right, three stars. I've never done this before, so I hope this goes well. I had to Google search this actually, cause it's super tough. So what are we going with? Um, I think I'll just go with like a random known star because I have absolutely no idea what I'm gonna do. So we're gonna go with this HR guy, and we're gonna see what it really is. I think it's pretty old though. I'm guessing by the mass. Yep. Zero. We'll pause this step. So age one. It's ready. Should be probably way lower. Probably like that. It should be like that, but still. And service temperature would be like 10, 10, would be like reaching into the 10,000s actually. That's surface temperature, it should be. So that's it's young HR. We're gonna call that. We're gonna call that one young HR. That's young HR. And now we're gonna give it a binary partner to orbit. Perfect. HR133 So then I'm gonna make that also 1.24 cuz I have like a similar ra radius cuz they're like really similar stars both of the young HRs I'm gonna call this one young HRB Cause kind of makes sense, to be honest. This is also gonna be reaching into like the ten thousands. Then we use something called curl plus mouse, and you get both of them. Now you can make them a nice berry center. Beautiful. Let's turn off since there's no labels at least. No terms. You can't at least see the berry center. Looks nice though. I should be young HR. So I'm gonna add something into orbit. Yep, it's gonna be something in orbit around these all. So what are we gonna put in orbit around them? You may ask. I hear you ask. I'm gonna put a sun-like star. I'm gonna turn off habitable zones because I really don't wanna. Ouch, we have a... Ouch. Ouch, that's huge. That's a huge habitable. So that's a sun-like star. We have a slightly interesting orbit here. Like, slightly, like, inclined and weird. So we're gonna give, like, a really weird orbit. So we're gonna go straight to motion. And down in motion, there's gonna be something called the... Paris eccentricity. So I'm gonna turn that up a bit, and we're gonna turn up the inclination. No, no, not that much. Oh my God, that's a lot. Get a slightly more interesting orbits. It's very slightly inclined, but pretty significantly inclined, actually. Then we're gonna. Now that we have paused, we're gonna use curdle mouse again and create a new berry center. This new berry center is going to have like a berry center over here, and that berry center is the, is the berry center between the sun and the two stars. So that's, a, that's looking good so far. I think that'll be our three-star system, actually. I might add some more if you guys subscribe and like, so we can figure out what we want exactly here. So for the B types, at your B types, I'm thinking of adding like a uh, like a, a few large gas giants, like hot Jupiters. Let's go with a personal object, actually. So let's. What's what are we thinking? I like Rainbow Deluxe, honestly, but I think it's gonna burn. I have like a feeling it's gonna burn, to be honest. So over here, 
is gonna be their first planet and their only planet because planets are hard to come by binary stars. It's gonna be like orbiting the, bar the shared berry center between the stars. Rainbow Deluxe V3. Seems nice. So Rainbow Deluxe V3 is probably going to be a pretty hot planet. It's going to be like Earth temperature at this rate. Tough out there. Honestly, the blending could be way better, if you ask me. That blending is like 10, that's 10 times worse than it could be. You want me, uh, let me just like fix that. You know what? That's good. That's okay. I'm just gonna leave that one for now. But I'm gonna see how like the whole thing plays out. Whatever it's playing out, it's not playing out well. It's not. It's looks like it worked. looking decent not gonna lie I thought this was gonna be way worse personally really good that's like one of my proudest achievements except for the glitch show labels it's actually really really one of my proudest achievements <coughs> Managed to get that gas giant in orbit. It's a hot gas giant too, it's like 30 Celsius out there. Let's turn up labels for a sec. So like there's that one berry center over here. Probably helping out. Here's the sun. We're gonna add some planets around sun. So first we're gonna add in like a gas giant, a, a good looking gas giant. I don't think I have enough space, honestly. Maybe we'll have like a one that's like going in like really close, like a hot gas giant. Giant, cause like gas giants normally don't really form that often. Which is sort of a pity, honestly. We could have a gas dwarf. Mm, I'm gonna go for the hopeless, that's a good one. Hopeless, maybe over there. Hopeless is like a weird world, so yeah. It's kind of weird. Generic gas store, we'll put that down there. And we'll put Ventus, no, let's see. Let's go with Toxic Keep. Toxic World over here. I think that's a good star system. Now I'm gonna spend the rest of this video customizing the star system. So let's see what we have here. Looks pretty good. But it's not it's not like, like an innermost world really. I think this needs more worlds. So let's add some. Post apocalyptic earth is an old favorite. Put that down here. Maybe I'll use Vulcan. Vulcan's always been pretty good looking. Maybe I'll sneak in. Oh my god, this is good. Actually, now nah, let's not do a red giant. Let's see what else we got. So we got post apocalyptic Earth, Vulcan. Now, what else can we sneak in here? Maybe we can sneak in thoughtfulness. 
push or we could walk away. Like that, maybe. That's decent. Maybe we'll sneak in Karthik. I'm not a fan of Karthik, I'm probably gonna leave that object anyway, it sucks. Anyway, let's see what we got here. Do they support? Because if we don't turn that down a lot, it's gonna go crazy. The trails go around the Let's pause that. Let's check post apocalyptic Earth. It's always a nice one. Vulcans doing okay. Thoughtfulness. Rocky World. Hopeless. Actually, map was on now. Generic Gaswarf. Just a generic Gaswarf. So now we're gonna customize them. We're gonna give them their own, totally own flair. So Vulcan deserves its new personality. I'm gonna call this one. I know this is a weird name, but still, it's gonna, it's gonna, you're gonna get it. This is gonna be Super Earth now. And the Super Earth is gonna have like a better atmosphere, a different atmosphere. It's gonna have like a black, no, not black. Black looks kind of weird, to be honest. Let's give it a, let's give it a screen atmosphere, no, oh, cyan atmosphere. It's own personality as tent. I'm gonna give it a and it's storm and double storm. City lights, blue. Solid surface. We're gonna actually check what that solid surface looks like underneath right now. Nope. I don't like that surface anyway. Let's give it a bit more surface. That looks meh, meh, meh. Okay. Maybe. So we're gonna go with that because it has like southern lowlands. We're gonna use the southern lowlands for the appearance. And this appearance is gonna probably look pretty good. So for high elevation, what are we thinking? Like a sand color, kinda. Like it's kinda like a sand color. Then we got the like, cause it's like a barren world. Barren, like barren, like oppressively heated, like, like uninhabitable kind of world. So I'm gonna give like a also like a kind of sand tint. Looking nice. And this is like like thunderstorms in the atmosphere, like lightning. Look at the double storm clouds. What does it look like on surface view on this thing? Under the thick atmosphere. We're gonna turn off all the trails and labels so you can see everything in all its glory. View stick. I can't even touch anything because I can't see. Let me turn on the labels for a second so you can like, see. Is this post a couple of dirt, generic disturb, Nox, and Jewel? So all of the planets you can see. Here, apparently, let me try that for a second. Yeah, you can see them. I think it takes like a better computer, honestly. Like, not the potato. It's night now, but we got those HRs like lighting up the night. Now it's like daytime again, so that's cool. So you know what we're dealing with here. You have its own like trail color too. It's trails. Like that. See that. Thoughtfulness is a really small. It's like a. It's supposed to be a moon. So obviously thoughtfulness is like a small world. But you know, I'm gonna give it some life of its own. Seven, seven. That's much better. That's like a manageable size. The surface is horrendous. Gotta give it an atmosphere. Ew! Look at 
look at that, it's so gross. That's it, I'm doing hydrogen. Solid iron, a bit higher than that. It's not realistic. But, hydrogen, boop, boop. Boop 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 Wait, that normally works. Oh my god, I can't refresh it off the surface. But no way it's different. Never mind. It's better. It's more manageable. Anyway, we're probably gonna need a much bigger atmosphere, not like one earth. Two earth. Give it two earth. Now this appearance, I'm gonna give it like a like custom simulated. Better. We have a better atmosphere color, like a more su greenish, like like tropical expanse kind of color. Clouds, white, the classic. One storm, map two, turbulent. That looks nice. It's beautiful. Anyway, now we're gonna add some water. And like some city lights to indicate the civilization living here. The pretty co the cool civilization. I'm gonna give them like a nice yellow and tropical and like exotic city lights. Pretty cool city lights. Like their living life here. But solid surface gotta look better. But first we gotta like add some water. An, oh, that's a weird tilt. Oh my god, that's a weird tilt. You know, we're rotating that. No, I Change the tilt. Oh my god, that's a weird tilt. God, that's a weird tilt. Gotta fix that tilt. At least that tilt's like fixed a little bit now. It's gonna make it much better. What's that the magnetic pole on one? Oh, that's the axis. This the magnetic axis then? I don't know. This is a weird surface. But you know, I, could, I think I could make it look slightly better than that. It's gonna be like a snowy white because it's like the top, a deep green for the middle, and a sandy yellow for the for the low. Pretty realistic, honestly. Not bad. Let's turn back on that clouds and atmosphere. It's pretty good. Too horrible. I'm gonna call this. Earth like four, because I'm like doing an Earth like series right now, so that should be pretty good. And now, and now I'm gonna like change this trail color really quick, so that we can have like a good trail color. That should look pretty nice. Okay, let's see what that looks like. That's really good. Let's save that thing. Save the object. Save. That's good. Decent. And then we got tent. Uh, rock, uh, like a rocky world. Now, post apocalyptic. It's apparently not destroyed anymore. But I'm still gonna keep like, this volcanism on the back. I'm gonna turn up the contrast too. You can't really tell the difference though, can you? Yeah, really. Could I like orange? High. High doesn't really change it, but low. Oh my god, low is like everywhere. You know, that doesn't look half bad. You know, it's like a barren, rocky world. What's 
It's a has an atmosphere and clouds. That's a nice looking one. But what do I call that gold? We can just trail color and then resave it. Because that trail color looks kind of odd for gold. But gold and like mustard trail color. In between those two. Yeah, that's that's a great color. That's oh, that's awesome color. Now we save that object now. So that's a good object, and you know, gold, I actually got the inspiration from uh, like real life like exoplanets, like the Kepler X class, like, or pretty close to the sun, and they have like golden atmospheres, apparently. It's pretty cool. That looks better. Generic gas dwarf is just like pretty generic. It's less than an Earth, which is surprising. But I'm gonna turn up that temp that like mass because it's a really, 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 really low mass. I'm gonna change your mass to like two, two Earths. That's much better. It looks nice, and I think we got it done. That's the new generic gas dwarf called Gassy. That's the planet Gassy. Not really much to be said about Gassy. Ninox, already a good world. Jewel. I'm not gonna customize those bands because they're kinda tough. So here we got it. Our trinary system. Part 1. I might sneak in like a 4 star system. But I wouldn't count on it, but... You know, why not? So anyway, see you next time. By the way, this is Space Gamer. Happy space gaming.